So this is a project we created in the last lesson and uh, here is the output uh, what we see. Now what I want to do is uh, my web app it really looks odd for me. I just want to say my app and let me stop this. I'll close this. I already have a my app created here isn't it? You remember I created a Java project with the name my app that's what we've been using throughout this IntelliJ lesson right. So how would I make this existing project as web application or enterprise Java application or Spring application or Maven application or anything. So I'll show you a simple way to what convert it to a web application. So all I have to do is just go to your uh, project uh, structure and you see in this there are there's an option called uh, basically facets. Uh, go here and click on plus and choose not Java E, uh, basically you have to choose web. Say like this, say OK. And it says web facet resource is not included in an artifact. That means appropriate folders are not present in my project. I click on create. So it's going to create these folders for me. So library is required, is missing from the artifact. Why did I added this library? Okay, I don't need this library. Okay, so I'll remove this one. I just did that to show you earlier. So come back to facets and web app and I say apply and okay. Now you can see that and a folder called web is created. So let me quickly create one simple HTML file. Let's call it as index.html. <coughs> we'll simply say welcome in the body. We'll say Welcome to Flight Web Application. So I'll run this. I'll go ahead and just click on play button, or you can always say Control R. Okay, so I use this. I'll do. Let me do uh, some cleanup work because these codes are written for you know creating the explain you about IntelliJ ID and its capabilities and all. So I don't need any of this actually. So I'll select all this and I will say delete, delete. Cool. Uh, my application looks quite decent now. So again, let me run this. Test. Why do I need test? I'll say run index.html. So this way it will start the web application. Next time onwards, if I click on play button, it will simply pick that up. Good enough. So what we have done, we converted the existing Java application into an web application. Same way if you go to project structure that is uh, this window and you can go and add it to face it and convert into anything else if you want to. So we are not going to convert any application to any of this anymore. Instead of that what we are going to do in future, we are going to create a Maven project and any of this is required, we are going to add a dependency. And what is Maven, I will tell you. Uh, in between this course where you have to stop and go and study uh, complete the maven course and come back so this is a, a simple example where we have converted our existing my app to a web application in the coming lesson so that means this is the end of this course that is uh, intellij id mastering intellij id now what i want you to do is i want you to jump to there are two courses one is java third party libraries third party APIs. Uh, let me show it to you once. Yeah, one thing you can start with this course, uh, Java third party APIs. This will also help you a lot to what understand about the APIs and all. Or you can straight away jump to what uh, web application development using JSP and JSP Servlet and JDBC. So see you in any of those courses. And congratulations on completing this course. What is that? IntelliJ Idea.